Good day everyone and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Gothic. Today, after a short while that I've actually like taken since the last episode, votes have been closed on the what faction do we want to join stuff. There weren't many votes, but the consensus is join the old camp, so we're going to join the old camp. That's right. So first off, I believe we have to... no, we don't have to Thoris. Actually, we have to talk to the guy inside that building. And that guy will be... Hold it, what are you doing? I want to go in. Well... Are you kidding? No. Why don't you ask Thoris? <laughs> I will. If you're lying, you're as good as dead. Well, I'm good as dead here anyway, so... Yeah, get moving. All right. So the person we want to talk to first what is here. What can I do for you? Oh my! They've put him on a very weird voice here. Uh, who are you? Who are you? I'm Raven, Gomez's right-hand man. Anyone who wants to see Gomez has to talk to me first. All right. So how about I that? I want to see Gomez. Thor says I'm to be taken on as a shadow. We're always on the lookout for good men. You seem to have your wits about you. you might be okay. Thanks. I feel Gomez. good now. Follow me. And don't touch anything. Okay. Well, he's the chef, so I better not touch anything. Gomez is over there. If Ready. you don't show him some respect, I'll take pleasure in teaching it to you personally. Have you got that? Durr, no. Yes, yes, I have. Now, there are two people on here, but we're going to talk to them later. Right now, we want to talk to Gomez. Let's see what voice he got. There we go. I have come to offer my services. What makes you think we're interested in your services? You can have a little bit of a conversation here. And you need to have the right answers. Otherwise, uh, well, he is going to be very disappointed and going to kill you. So, first off, I have stood this. The of faith, and Thoris says I'm worth it. You wouldn't have gotten in here alive if that weren't so. I hope that's not the best you can do. So, we're gonna tell him. I've been this. traveling around the colony a lot, and I have contacts in all of the camps. Now that could prove useful. Who are you in contact with? Well, first off, there is this. A few of the bowels in the Brotherhood's camp. And? Then we've got Laris. Laris. And? That? A couple of the fences in the new camp. And? Core Kalam. And? And that should be it, because Iberion never talks to people. Otherwise, if you pick him, then uh, you're going to be dead. Those were the important ones. Not bad. For a beginner, you shall have your chance. Thank you. Does that mean I'm in? You bet it does. You're one of us now, kid. Raven will fill you in on everything. Armor. Give me armor. No armor. All right. Talk to Raven then. Hello? Hello to you too. Gomez says I'm in. There we go. Great. Oh in that my. case you yes. can prove your worth with the first task. It shouldn't be too difficult for you, provided your connections are as good as you say. Okay, what do you want me to do? We do a lot of trade with the Brotherhood. That doesn't mean to say we trust them. Go to the swamp. When you get to the camp, keep your ears open. Anything you pick up might be useful for us. The more you find out, the better. It'll take a bit of tact, if you know what I mean. Absolutely cool. not. I'm not going to get them angry. <laughs> I knew you'd understand. All right. Where can I get better? How about equipment? that, indeed? Go and see Diego. He'll give you some armor. Well, I already have one, actually. Stop you from getting killed, hmm. and it'll serve as an ID at the same time. Your armor should give you access to all the places you need to go. If you need any weapons, go and talk to Skip. You'll find him in the big shed right at the back. 
left of the castle courtyard. Sounds good to me. I just thought I'd report in. Good. I like being kept up to date. I don't really know what they're planning yet. Then why are you bothering me? I'm not bothering you. I'm just making conversation, that's all. Oh yeah, and uh, we can talk to a few other people here, like Bartholo. Hello, friend. Hello there. Who are you? Bartholo's the name. I see to it that the ore barons get their supplies. I'm in charge of the lot, from weed supplies to food and provisions for the women. So you're the go-to guy, huh? It's my the organizer job to make sure those this. idiotic cooks do their job right. They should be grateful. Gomez won't put up with any crap. He fed the last two cooks to the lurkers in the river. I don't think they actually like that, but... Um, with that I mean the lurkers, that is. Because, you know, armor and stuff doesn't Everything taste right so well. You. Who are you? I took about these two I'm guys, Arto. eh? What do you do around here? I'm Gomez's bodyguard. One of them, too. You don't talk much, do you? No. Nope. <laughs> All right. Let's talk to Scar over here. Hello. Who are you? They call me Scar. Why? <laughs> What's your job? Me and Ardo make sure nobody gets to see Gomez unless they're invited. And I make sure the women don't get restless. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> I saw a woman being brought down with the goods. So what? Is she here? Look, in case you're interested in her, let me give you some advice. Forget her. She's only just got Jeez. here. And Gomez has her locked in his room. When he's done with her, he might just send her down. But for now, she's his. So you better take your mind off her. Wow, jeez. He's like an ass. Complete and utterly. Oh well. Anyway, we are going to go to Skip because we want some weapons. Perhaps he can sell us some that we might need. Also, this is the basic armor that we now have. And I'm going to demonstrate that. 35 protection. Actually, no, that's not absolutely correct. 30 protection against weapons, 5 against arrows, and 15 against magic. And mag magic, I meant fire, actually. So, we have our first basic armor here, and we now have joined the old camp. Now, first off, let's for talk Gomez. to Skip. Indeed, for Gomez. I could do with a few things. <laughs> I could sell you a few things. That sounds good to me. Now, what do you got? Whoa. 33. That's actually not too shabby. 26. How much does it cost, though? Whoa! 111? I'll take that off your hands. Because I believe... We have got enough to make that worth it. Oh, we actually are almost already there. Wonderful. Now, just two more arrows, and we should be fine. Alright. Now, how much more damage is that? Seven. Alright. Now, since we have a more lot of stuff that we don't I, need... I we are going to sell a few things here. Especially the things we absolutely do not need at all. I'll keep the map for now. I don't need to sell it at the moment. I'm gonna sell the Ring of Life as well. The Digger's Trap for 500, wow, that's a lot. Okay, that that's a lot of ore. He doesn't even have that much. Cool. Alright. So we're gonna keep something for like a few pieces, 50, 16, 11, there we go. This should be enough, good. That's 1,800 ore, so that's really, really good for the time being. Also, I believe we still have... A few learning points. 14. Or skill points in this game. 
In German it's actually something like uh, learning points actually, so they translate that with skill points, but that's fine. Still kind of stuck in the German wording. So, let's talk to Diego. For Gomez. Indeed. Now, we could buy that. Can we do that yet actually? Can I have armor like ah. Do you have enough ore? No. <laughs> yes. Take care. Right, so we have now only 600 ore. However, we've got a new armor. And that will protect us 40 weapons. It's 10 more. And that's a better one, for sure. It's for only Gomez. a minimalistic change, but you will notice that having 10 more protection against weapon is going to be a huge impact. Can you? Yes. Yes, so we are going to improve on dexterity three points. So we can reach 15. The rest is going on strength for now. Your strength, your skill, come back. All right. Take care. So now we have 55 strength and 15 dexterity. And we still have six skill points left. And that's what I'm going to leave it that for the moment. Now, I should go to the swamp camp and you will notice one thing once I get out. Yeah, I'm not going to spoil it yet because that will be unfair. But you will notice soon enough. Or hopefully I'm not pretending there's something that there isn't actually. Uh, I might be wrong about the time at this. Hmm. I guess I was wrong. Let's look down there, and then we'll see if this has happened. Actually, it didn't happen yet. Okay, so basically what I wanted to show you is that monsters respawn, but obviously they haven't yet. I, I believe that uh, this point of the game, it's a little bit too early for that. I believe after the second, uh, after the first chapter is done, and you get a text message or pop-up uh, for the second chapter, then you are going to see monsters respawning all around the world. Which again means of course you will get more experience and you can kill the monsters that you killed before yet again. Sometimes they're replaced by a lot stronger monsters like for example you get more wolves where there were scavengers before and stuff like that. But now the good thing is we have a good armor, we have a good amount of strength and we can take on almost anything at the moment. There will be monsters that we are not wanting to fight at the moment, but for now I believe we can even kill wolves with one hit. Oh, bugger! A little bit more strength there, but we should be fine for now. Uh, left, right, there we go. Or meat and a few other things, wonderful. Now what we are going to do next though, is we're going to go into the woods. Now why would you say would I go into the woods? Well, there's one thing that definitely we'll need to do, is to level up more. And the woods is the perfect place. However, I'm first going to go over here to kill some more lurkers. That's always fun. But before we do that, let's save. Because I don't want to die needlessly. I, I think we have enough damage protection that we can take a few hits from these creatures, but I just want to be sure. Oh my god, they actually do no damage whatsoever. <laughs> we like barely took any damage at all. Like, how much damage did that do? 10 damage! Hooray! So we can survive 14 hits from that beast. Wow, that's actually quite a bit. Considering we were so weak before. But 10 damage? Wow, that's not really a lot. And that what I do, by the way, is pressing forward right now. So it can swing multiple times, which is quite neat. Ah, 
And I don't think actually those lizards do barely any damage at all uh, right now. Oh! Goblins! Hmm. I believe these are black goblins though. And black goblins are a bit stronger than the normal ones. So we need to be careful. Ah, uh, this is not going to end well, is it? Wow, that's a lot of black goblins. Ah, uh, no, we're not going to win that. There are too many goblins at the same time. There were like 10 goblins or so. And even with 55 protection, they're quite, quite strong. So, we're going to skip that for now. And rather, I believe I can show you something very interesting over here. If that is in the first game. I'm not entirely sure. It's in the second game, though. There's a secret tunnel down here. Oh, there is one here, too. Wonderful. Because in here, you'll find a little bit of stuff. This would be a scroll and a potion. And, of course, a chest. Which includes a few lockpicks, beer, healing, and a few arrows. Always nice to have more arrows, because you never know when you might need them. Also, arrows are only for bows. They are balls later on that we can use for crossbows. Also, crossbows need strength to fire. So, having a good amount of strength is good for crossbows, but absolutely useless for bows. And that's another three goblins down. And these normal goblins are quite easy to kill. There's no reason to evade them for now. Yeah, monsters haven't respawned yet. So we need to wait a little bit more for the new chapter to arrive. However, as I said before, we're now going to take our way into the... Yeah, into the jungle. Now, into the woods, that is. Into the woodwork. Uh, we're going to see what kind of monsters await us there. There are a few monsters that you do not want to fight yet. Uh, you will see those monsters pretty, pretty soon, I suppose. And I shall warn you before we engage them. If we engage them. Probably not. There should be some more stuff over here. Uh, there we go. Now, more runs is next on the menu. Ham. Ah, oh, it landed on the belly. <laughs> mm, tasty more rat meat. Nom 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 nom. Well, raw meat is actually not that much fun, but cooked really tasty. Now, let's do some pickups here. Also, wolves! Oh, can we hit them on the back? No, we can't. These wolves, by the way, are the reason you do not want to go into the woods alone in the first, like, two hours, three hours of the game. Because these wolves are really, really dangerous and they do a lot of damage towards your unequipped character. And with a basic armor, you could possibly fight them. But most of the time you don't want to, because that means that you are probably going to be quite hurt. If not even dead. Now, some more blood flies it is. One. Two. Come over here. Three. Now, we're going to kill these two scavengers over here as well. By the way, the more strength you have, the more damage you deal initially. So, increasing strength, even if you have a, well, kind of useless weapon with low damage potential, is always good if you want to fight melee combat-wise. You have to do the first few fights melee combat anyway, so increasing strength to like 30 or 40 is probably a very smart idea. Uh, other than that, you're pretty open in what you choose, like if you used bows or if you want to use uh, 
swords onwards and so on. If you want to uh, use two-handed weapons. Two-handed weapons do require a good amount of strength however, so you won't be like with 50 strength you probably won't be wielding any uh, two-handed weapons. But most one-handed weapons can be wielded for 30 to 40 strength at the beginning, so you should be settled with that. Oh, got you in the back. Well, these creatures don't really live so long in the forest to really know what's going on, do they? Because normally, creatures that live in the woods are equipped to live in the woods. These seem to be not at all. What these blood flies are doing here, I don't even know. Well, I suppose they don't even know either, because otherwise they would run away. Should be one more. Hey, flying a bit high there. Can't really reach you there. You know what? Time for arrow. One, two, three. Oh, we need four shots. There we go. Or five, for that matter, since we missed one time. Yeah, let's try to get the loot. Oh, more rat. It's basically just killing everything in here. Oh, by the way, that's a, a snapper over there. I'm gonna try to fight one, but I suppose we might just die outright against it. It's very tough. Or maybe it's just not who, how tough they really are, but we'll see. Oh, they are. Yes, they are tough. But we can fight one with no problem. Two are going to be insanely hard to kill. Because they do deal quite a good amount of damage. However, having like one snapper is fine. And they good and they give a good amount of experience too. Now we do need to heal up though. I'm gonna use a potion here to get the first few hit points and then we're gonna eat some mushrooms. Not sure if potion and mushrooms mix well in stomach, but I suppose we have no other choice. You can also try to front wheel the sword a little bit so they run into your sword swing. But it's not always working. So we need to be careful with that a little bit. I believe we don't have anything that we can increase with. There are also potions that increase your, for example, mana or health strength and dexterity permanently. So keep a lookout for that if you can. Because they're really really good and you should use them at every turn that you can find them. Because skill points do not increase in, in points. So you will need one point to increase strength by one at the beginning of the game and it will stay one point for the entire duration of the game. Unlike in the second game, for example, where you then have, with the add-on, a different system, which increases slightly per 30 points. Now, I believe we should be okay to go down here. But I... D oh! Wolves. Some more wolfies. Do we want to go down? There's the question. I'm gonna draw my bow just to be sure. There's nothing in there. <laughs> Would be too bad if they're jumping something up from the shadows now and I'm dead, but. No, there's nothing. A bow can really help you in these situations because you can aim at the uh, territory and see if there's something there. So bows are really, really helpful in these kind of situations. Yeah, well, it's a little bit easier now, once you have a good armor, a good amount of strength, then these kind of monsters don't really pose a threat to you. 
However, don't get cocky, because there are monsters that can still kill you, like the Snapper, for example. If you run into these without knowing that they're so powerful, you are probably going to die. Quite horribly, actually. And I'm also going to show you, just for a small moment, a monster that you do not want to fight yet. You can probably judge from the size that you don't want to fight it yet, but you never know. I mean, monsters sometimes look tougher as they actually are. S snappers, for example, look not tougher, but they look... Inc oh no. No, 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 I don't want to fight two snappers over there, so we have to delay showing you that monster for a little while. Because I'm not going to use all my healing items to show you that, unfortunately. I want to consume them later on, and not at the moment. So, I believe for the first trip into the woods and getting some experience, this was actually a good impression. So, when we come back, folks, we are going to go to the second part of the woods, which is over... well, over there, on the other side. That means more killing, more experience, and especially, probably, eh, maybe a level up. Who knows? Because you need all the skill points you can get. So, I will see you all next time.